Hello, welcome to McBoss Capital Channel. I'm Michael Chi. Uh, this is the video where we're going to go over the top growth stocks list. And I uh, just want to uh, go over some of the reported ones as well. And there's a lot reporting, uh, and it's going to be more in the next two weeks. But at least for this week, we can kind of get a sense of what's what seems to be holding and what's, you know, uh, What's happening? So one thing that's happening, I realize um, we talk about it in the market recap video for this week. Um, two things I saw there was one, um, even though the indexes, uh, especially Nasdaq, is holding up, but that's you know we don't know until this week. We're gonna have uh, the big cap tax reporting, so that could be uh, you know need to be a little bit cautious because if they miss, it could really uh, we could really see uh, uh, lots of selling. Because of that, uh, it may spread. You know, it may spread to the other areas as well. Um, the other thing is the advanced decline line has dropped very fast on both uh, NYSE and also on um, on the Nasdaq. So that's another negative. Um, but here we 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 this there's about six hundred eighty stocks here that's on my growth stock list. Um, and some of this, you know, as earnings come, they're gonna get Remove and some will be added based on their forward earnings guidance. I generally have around roughly like at least 10% double digit earnings growth criteria. So I just want to show you, like, you know, uh, there's this downtrend 10 day, 21 day column here. Uh, basically, if it's above 10 and 21, generally we're in an uptrend for that stock. If it's below that, we're kind of in a more of a downtrend. So, um, so here, if we select uh, downtrend and we can filter that and we go down here and count, we are seeing, um, let me clear this financial area for a second. So, so, so every sector we're looking at, so there's about 407 stocks that is in the downtrend right now. And this is quite significant, right? Because, you know, um, that's a lot of stocks. And, and uh, if we select uptrend and uh, let me count this. We have about 116. So um, let me go back to downtrend. I don't know if I started counting properly here. So actually, there's more 502. So yeah, so there's about 100 stocks uh, in uptrend and 500 stocks in downtrend. That's a five to one ratio. Um, it's just showing how many stocks are pulling back right now. And this is not a good environment right now to be very aggressive, especially on stocks that hasn't report earnings yet. Uh, because uh, what we what I'm seeing is a lot of stocks that miss. They're getting they're getting hammered, and and not only that, like they they're not even bouncing after their report like the next day, you know, after dropping a, a lot. So there's there's definitely lots of selling happening right now, and it could continue to spread this coming week. Uh, especially if the tax, um, you know, miss and stuff. So I would be very cautious. But with that being said, um, you know, as a trader, what we're looking for is, you know, any stocks that are setting up and that are, you know, holding really tight. Uh, you know, uh, any stocks that are extended right now, I'm, I'm not in them. Most of them, like I've already sold a few, few weeks ago. Uh, App, GEV. Uh, Palantir, you know, all these great growth stocks, and they're still going. Some of them are still going. Um, you know, obviously, I sold a little bit early, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, that's my strategy. I, I don't usually hold for too long. I take my gains and, you know, look for the next setup. So, but what is setting up this coming, this week, right? Like, um, we have lots of uh, financials reported, and they seem to do okay they did pull back on friday the xlf um you can take a quick look at xlf here but i do think like the financials are setting up most of them but again friday is a very ugly day we have a reversal so we were trading tight and then it fell apart on friday you can see so we have this nice breakout right here moves up and then now it's pulling back pretty strong it's now below the 10 day so just keep that in mind we're going to look at some financial stocks. Generally, I, I do set my stock near the 10 day, generally, um, especially after a, a, a breakout, right? Um, 
if they're still in the base, it might be a little bit lower just because um, there's, you know, in, in, it's harder to find a, a good level. But anyhow, um, so let's start looking at some financials. So if I go back to this list here, and I'm going to take out all this. So this I filtered by financial, and you can see a lot of them are in downtrend. But there is a few that's holding up uh, that has it reported. And this is the ranking number right now. This is based on September 25th. So we are exactly a month uh, since that time. And you can see the performance is about 6.73% from the low. Um, so it hasn't gained much, right? Um, so these other two columns here is the RS rating for daily and uh, based on three month period and weekly based on three month period. It's basically, it's not a new high. It basically didn't close at the highs, right? And then we have um, this highest date here. Highest date meaning like the, like when was the last time it actually reached a new high? So obviously uh, October 15 was the last time. So so it's been a while, right? So let's let's and also right now again it's below the 1021 day. So let's go take. So let's look at this chart right here. So this this is a nice cut with handle, and uh, so we try a couple of times. First time here's the handle. Second, so it didn't really break out right here. Then it pulls back, and then the and then here it finally worked, right? Uh, and then. It, it, it jumped for a few days and then it start to pull back. So right now the recent pullback came back to the 10 day line. It's holding really tight around the 10 day. And then on Friday we had that reversal. So what, what we're looking for is, you know, we have this like nice uptrend, then we pull back and now we want to see the next uptrend, right? So right now, you know, right now we're at a critical level. You can see here, the black line is where my stop is. So we're very close. Like if we break below that low, um, we could have uh, some issue there, right? Um, you know, maybe it could bounce back. I don't know, but that's that's can't, that's where my stop stop loss is right now. It's uh very tight. Um, and I'm keeping them really tight right now just because the environment is getting a little bit worse. But I thought I might try this. You know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, again. But but it has been showing a little bit of strength, You're getting you know higher lows constantly. Um, but again, I, I'm not sure like if it's gonna break this recent pullback here. And this is just one example. We can go through many financial stocks. We are seeing very similar pattern. On the weekly chart, you can see the nice cut with handle pattern. We broke out right here, and then uh, the next week we kind of close in the middle range. And this week we kind of close back down. The volume did come in slightly lower, which is a good sign. Um, the fundamentals are not too bad. It's now growing at the double digit number. And then we're seeing the earnings line has been coming down right from right here. So, but we should be going up now. So hopefully uh, this will, you know, and this is a first stage base. You can see a couple of handles, stage one. Uh, it's a 21% correction. Um, yeah. Next one, we'll look at CD Group. Um, you can see the, the the earnings line right here going down slightly, and then we are going to see some improvement going forward. So that looks good on the weekly chart. You can see this base padding. It's not a very nice clean cup. Uh, there's lots of volatility here, and then even recently, you can see we are pulling back from the recent um, try here. And let's go look at daily chart. So the earnings came out right here. It was not very good in terms of expectation. Um, then it pulled back uh, to right here, and then we saw this bounce right here on, on stronger volume. So I I did take a position that day. Uh, unfortunately, so far it hasn't worked yet. It hasn't come out of this uh, you know ten day right here. So um, I set my low stop here at the low of that day. So again, very similar. Uh, this most likely will fail. The volume has been much lighter on the sell side, so that's a good news. But we'll see how this, uh, whether the the financials will turn around next week. But yeah, Friday is a very ugly day for for some of these stocks here.
Next one, we're going to look at KKR in Finance Investment Management. So this one has been uh, growing earnings pretty nicely. And you can see the earnings line starting to move up. And here we have uh, projections that are not also showing strong growth. And this stock has been uh, doing pretty wonderful. Uh, it's not again. These are all financial stocks here, so um, they don't go up like your high flyers, but they do go up. As you can see, this is uh, the last uh, correction was right here. It's a 24% correction. Um, this one is stage four right now, meaning like we have one, two, three, four stages now. So a little bit late, um, and then since it broke out right here, it has been moving. Let's go look at the daily chart. We have the earnings came out right here. Um, it it kind of pulled back on that, right? Um, I'm not sure if it reported in the morning on 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 Thursday after hours or on Thursday, but anyhow, um, this is a pullback right now, and we'll see. It has been holding the 10 day very strong. So we'll see if we hold this level. Um, my stop is around this level right here. So again, very tight. Um, it's possible it will break it this week. Um, but all the like, again, we see the financials are all pulling back right now. But you know, so volume is slightly lower. Um, we'll see how this goes. SF is the next one um, in the finance investment book. This one um, has a very similar chart to KKR. You can see a breakout right here on this base. It's been moving up nicely, obeying the 10 day line. Here's the first pullback below the 10 day, touches the 21 day bounce. Um, this one looks better because Friday not only make an intraday new high, but it also pull back like you know not below Thursday's Thursday. Um, yeah, it looks really good. Let's go look at the weekly chart. It is a little bit extended. You can see we are reaching the twenty percent mark from here, um, but it just reported. So so we'll see how that goes. Again, earnings are getting strong too. So that's not. That's not bad at all, and the volume has been rising as as it's being accumulated. So, so this next one is Charles Swap. It make it to ninety five. So this one is coming up. Um, looking at the chart here, so earnings are really gonna improve right here. Uh, going forward, right now it's kind of flat. We have this base right here. Um, it's a pretty deep base, 23%. It hasn't done well much lately in the last year. So that's the only problem there. But right now it's showing some strength. You can see right here. Let's go to daily chart. We see, you know, this, this, uh, long trend line down here. So depending, yeah, so this is probably the breakout day right here on the earnings. Um, the problem after it broke out is that it didn't close two days in a row at the low of the range. So that means there's probably some selling happening. And uh, I got in here maybe a little bit too early. And then it, it still pulled back to the 10 day and then it bounced on the 10 day. So that's a good sign. And now it's slowly moving back up again. Friday, again, Friday. It's a very important day to me for the financial just because a lot of them pull back. This one, again, you can see it, it pulls back, but it didn't undercut Thursday's low. So uh, volume also came in much lower. So that's also a good sign. So uh, if, mo if Monday or, you know, it starts to rebound, um, this might be a good sign. So again, this is in the base. So... Uh, you know, if it breaks out, there's you know, there's more room to run um, right here. Next one, we're gonna look at uh, BK Bank of New York Mellon. This one has been on a nice uptrend for a while. 
it usually pull back you can see 10 21 day right now uh, you can see 21 days right here that's uh, pretty much where my stop is and it did undercut recent low on this week so that's not a good news uh, volume did come in lower so we'll see if we find support near the 21 day again um, but this chart looks pretty strong from a longer term point of view so it broke out right here and then it kind of formed another base here and then another base here so this is consolidation right here then it moves up right here and then it forms another very short consolidation and then since that it has been moving up nicely so again the numbers are in the double digits growth um, so relative strength has been strong too earnings lines again starting to move up Fiserv is in the financial service specialty. You can see this. This every time it breaks out, this stock moves pretty fast. Actually, see this is the most recent consolidation, and then it breaks out. So volume has been uh, quite good lately, and you can see the consistency on this earnings. Like very consistent. Look at look at this earnings line. Just keep going up consistently. It's a very good chart. Very good fundamentals. Looks at the daily. So it has gone, you know, from this buy point has definitely made the 25% more. Um, recently it pulled back. This was a really nasty pullback on the earnings. Um, it basically intraday, you know, let's go look at intraday here. Uh, undercut a lot of areas. So let me extend this to like. 10 minutes or something. So here you go. This, this was the ugly day in the morning, and it slowly rises after that. So the you know, uh, so all the weak investors are shaking out, and now it starts to climb, climb, climb. And then on Friday it did give back a little, quite a bit actually. So we'll see again. You know, volume is not too bad. It's at the average. Um. So we'll see if this can continue to bounce. But the one thing I like about the chart is like the 10 day, 21 day, 50 days all starting to rise at a faster pace. So we could see this stock run if, uh, if it, that continues. The next one here is Blackstone. Um, see this nice breakout. This is a little bit more volatile, I think. Look, last time it pulled back to 50 day, then it bounced. This time looks okay actually because uh, it hasn't touched the 10 day yet. Um, so it's still holding around that level, uh, just above it. And, and Friday, even though it dropped, it hasn't undercut Wednesday low. That's again, um, it's possible it will undercut this week if, if market turns. But uh, again, this is, has a nice uh, you know, 20 to 30 to 40 percent growth. And this is a large cap, so yeah, most of these stocks are large caps so far that we have talked about. So this one has been, you know, kind of negative earnings, and then now it's turning around. So we're seeing a lot of this happening, right? They're, they're just improving their earnings, and you can see the earnings line going down here. But even with the earnings line going down, it's still able to slowly move up. So hopefully, uh, as earnings improve here, we can start to see uh, more a bigger move. Um, this is a lot of uh, this is almost look like what we call ascending phase. Um, so you get higher lows and you get higher highs, higher highs, higher low, higher high, higher low. Right now, um, it's very close to undercutting the low here. So again. Um, We'll see if this can hold, but uh, yeah, this is in the super regional bank. This is State Street Investment Management. This is quite volatile stock right here. You can see the pullback each time is quite significant. Um, so, but this this Friday drop is uh, also significant. So it didn't really happen before. So I did cut cut half my position there. And if it does trigger my stop here, then I'll be out. Um, volume on the sell side is starting to dwindle a little bit. On the weekly chart here, 
um, this, this base right here. So it hasn't quite get up to the 20, 25% mark yet from the original breakout. The numbers are improving. Um, so that, that's what we continue to see some of these stocks as, you know, going to be improving um, on the finance. So obviously, you know, with the uh, possible 10 year yield moving up higher, a lot of these banks, you know, if, if the two year doesn't uh, move up too much, then they have a higher spread and they could make more money from that. Next, we have GSHD, ranked 32 here on this list. It make a new high on Friday, and it's an uptrend, so that looks good. Um, let's see here. So right here, we closed pretty strong this week. Uh, volume is uh, pretty high as well. And so, you know, recently the numbers have come down. Um, not growing too fast. So here was, you know, before it was growing really fast here. Then it kind of flatlined a little bit. Now it's starting to grow again. So hopefully that will look like this. And yeah, so this this is a very strong move right here this week. It's a daily chart. <coughs> Excuse me. This is another big shakeout right here. So we can see it broke out move towards a new high then this shakeout right here especially on this earnings day and if you look at uh, 10 minute chart this is a huge shakeout right here and and then it bounced back in the next 10 minutes pretty fast and then since that it's been going up so uh, this is a small cap so uh, it can move faster and Four billion dollars. Yeah. Now this one is starting TCBI Texas Capital Bank shares. It's starting to uh, grow faster again. And you can see the earnings line was going down. Now it's moving back up. And we have this breakout right here. Looking good so far. Um, volume came in lower this week on the pullback. Um, so right now, this one obeys the short-term moon average. So here's the, roughly the slope right here. So you can see it's very really close to, again, the lows on the recent pullback. Um, the volume really dry up here. So we'll see if we can uh, bounce at this moment. If not, it'll probably uh, undercut this low here. Here's the Southeast Bank. Uh, earnings also slightly improving here to uh, 20%. And you can see this one is a little bit volatile. Again, small cap. Um, pulls back quite a bit. Go to daily chart. You can see the lows is higher. So this is like an ascending base. And right now it's sitting at 21 day. So it's slightly downtrend right now. So we're moving on to industrial. We have two stocks that are reported this week, CLS and VRT. Uh, you can see they rank pretty high here. On CLS, this is electrical contract manufacturing. The volume came in on this uh, breakout right here on the earnings. So really strong volume. And this is the breakout right here. Still, still, it's a little bit extended now. Um, yeah, very strong follow through as well on Friday. So let's look at this one has been going very strong for a while now. You can see it moves out here, then it kind of move up jack like a little bit slanted, and then we have this uh, strong pullback right here. Then we have this uh, double bottom base right here. Then finally we have this bigger base here. So it kind of undercut this recent low, this flat base. So now we're back at stage one. This is a nice clean breakout, high volume. That's exactly what you want to see when breakout, you want to see the highest volume. Then we have the numbers here on the earnings growth. Um, 
it's a little bit slowing, but still in the double digit uh, strength. So uh, we'll see how this continue. Like I said, Friday is a very good day. It did fall through. Uh, next is VRT. This one also been a strong star for a while now. Um, this is the weekly chart. This is a big correction, 43%. And it has come back on the right side now, trying to uh, move above this buy point. Um, so it's been it's been going sideways for the last three weeks. Like so, it's a it's I think this blue area you can see is very small on my screen, but it says tight area, which is a good sign. It means um, you know, people are not selling the stock as much, and, and probably there's some buying too. This this is holding at that price. So uh so numbers are very strong still. Um let's go to the daily chart. So one of the things like over time I've learned is like you know whenever you know you see a shakeout like this. Uh so this day I got in, but then it kind of closed weaker, right? You can see it's if I look at the range here on that day. Is 32%, which is slightly lower than the halfway point, right? Um, like in the lower one third. So I had to, I, I end up cutting out my position that day as well, just because the week closed. And, you know, on that, like, you know, if you look at the chart, um, it was like kind of on a strong downtrend, you know, where it closed on Wednesday. So that's, that's the reason why. I have to cut my position after I bought it. Um, then Thursday, it, it it's kind of holding, and it was able to close green, and the volume also was there, so that's a good sign. And then Friday, it it make a you know new high again uh, there, and this time um, you would remember Friday is it's not a good day, right? Because a lot of stocks reverse. So the fact that this stock didn't sell much, you see the volume. So even though it's blue, you think, oh, there's not much buying. But really, I consider it as a, a negative day because because of what the market did. You know. So here you go. You see this up the up in the morning, first hour uh, or so, and then it starts to decline. So this decline came in much lower volume. You know. So uh, so that's a good sign, right? Um, so yeah, I and then, um, yeah, I think I I took another position on Friday, so so now I'm, yeah, so now I'm I'm, I'm wait see how this goes, but yeah, this is a strong stock. It has broken out before and it runs, so we'll see. So this amphenol, APH is in the electronic parts area. And this is a nice chart, like it's building this nice base, and you can see um, this trend line right here around this area. And this pullback right here, like it's so tight. Look at how tight it's trading, even though volume is so high. But but the the tightness, you know, kind of signals that there's some accumulation. Um, and then on on the earnings day. Um, it gap up, but then it did close, you know, slightly in the lower half. But overall, it's still a good day, right? Because it, it, it uh, jump on higher volume and break out. So then the next day, we, we see what happened is that it was able to hold the previous day's close. So that's also a good sign. And then Friday, we have volume coming back down, even though it's still near average. But you can see it didn't give up the low on Thursday. So Three days, like Thursday, Friday is really good technical days for this. And, um, yeah, and, and, you know, not sure if this is related to AI, but, but it's providing electrical parts. So maybe there's some stuff related. Anyhow, um, there is also good earnings for forecast. The next we have web tech. This is in the transportation equipment manufacturing. Um, 
So the earnings here, you know, it's not as strong as it used to be, but it's still growing near 10, the 10% 10 mark. Um, we have this base here, we have this base here. So it's a slow, not a fast mover, but it's a nice, you know, mover. And then you can see uh, it's following the same trend again, right? That's here, you can see. Um, so let's look at the... Friday, you know, you can see it closed in the middle range on the weekly chart. So let's see on the, so we did have a pullback right here, pullback to the pink line, which is the 21 day. Um, but very tight, right? The action is so tight. And uh, yeah, so Friday it did have a slight reversal, but it's still sitting again near the 10 day. So, so yeah, this is not. A fast moving stock, but it is pretty uh pretty nice and steady. So um on the retail side we have Danny's uh, restaurants reported. We have uh Delta Airline, um we also have United Airline, uh and we also have uh Texas Roadhouse. So Danny's is not a really good like it hasn't been doing well in a long time. Uh, but one thing I did notice here after this earnings report is the volume really shot up. Uh, so that tells me lots of equity, you know, uh, accumulation. And we do have a, a trend line here forming as well at the top here. So it tried to come out on Friday, but it just closed, end up closing near the line basically. So we'll see if it pops out. And if it does pop out, there's a high chance. Again, I like how the volume really came in um, to support this stock this, uh, after that earnings. Um, so here's the number also turning around on the fundamental side. It's not very strong, but, but it's a lot better than before. So on the weekly chart, again, you can see it looks kind of ugly. It, it basically undershake undercut like all the previous lows here before it rebound and the fact that it was able to you know come back all the way to this near this top range is pretty powerful um, so yeah this is a really small <laughs> really small um, the other one that reported is Texas Roadhouse this is much bigger 12 billion uh, you can see the earnings growth is uh, pretty high here and continue to be double digit here. This chart pattern looks more tight. Base, base, here's the recent base. And this is quite a long base actually if you, if you go back further. So, and now it's kind of clear that and volume came in. Um, let's look at the daily. So yeah, here you, it's more clear. This is the this this is exactly the level 177 here, 180 right here. Um, then it goes higher here, and then it did another pullback, and then the volume it's all right. It's not, and then look at the volume that came in after that. So we have you know earnings, and then come out and and uh, shot up. So that's really good. Uh, yeah, it looks really good stuff. So UAL, uh, we have this earnings. It shot up pretty much, you know, extended because you can see from both um, from this traditional buy point or even this low entry, like they're all extended, and then it broke the upper channel line. But what's so impressive about this stock is after it, it broke the channel line, it didn't want to go down, and you can see it's it doesn't even want to touch the ten day. And now it's making new high Thursday, making new high Friday. This is a very strong stock right now. I'm really shocked how strong this is. Um, the numbers are, you know, turning around as well, right, on the fundamental side. So, so that that's you know, but it shows there's lots of accumulation happening. Highest volume ever right here. Sometimes the highest volume ever um, is not good when it's near extended. So, but the the following week, like I said, this week, it was able to hold tight. Tells me that no one wants to unload. Um, but uh, but yeah, 
So we'll see how this continues. Then the next one is Delta airline. Where, you know, not as strong, but you can see the uptrend is intact. It's very strong from from you know from this perspective. It's like I don't know, 50, 55 degree angle, pretty strong slope. Um, you have earnings very strong as well. This looks even stronger than UAL. Um, you go to daily chart. Again, this week is a pullback week, but look at this volume coming down. So I'm looking to add another position. Um, we'll see if it bounces. Like I mean, this is trading so tight. Like it, it could be one day and it already recover. So that, that's usually what happens. Um, but I don't want to jump the gun. I'll just wait for the bounce to happen, and um, and then probably add another position. This this one, yeah. So this one looks good. This is American Airlines. Um, you can see the earnings news right here. It didn't close strong, but it did recover on Friday, so that's good. Uh, look at the weekly chart. This is still within the big. This is a deep base, forty-four percent correction. This one hasn't done really well before. So, but again, look at those numbers turning around. So. So the financials we show is turning around, and this this group is also turning around. So this stock is um, a very volatile stock. Just shows down CHDM. Uh, you can see like every bar is is pretty wide. So I <laughs> definitely not easy stock to uh, hold. Um, but here's here's the the earnings news came out. What's impressive about this is the volume that really came in Thursday, Friday, um, and and obviously it, it's shaken out a lot of people right here. Um, it didn't undercut this, so that I think that's good news. Um, but anyhow, it, it scared lots of people and then it recovered. So that's very interesting. Go so to Thursday, so get down on earnings and then look at this bar right here. Two bars, two strong bars, um, and then recover. So yeah, it looks very healthy. Um, uh, I mean, I mean, right now, like I said, this stock is very hard to trade. It's just how much volatility. Right? Even if it breaks out, it could come back down easily. Um, so it's a, it's a very hard stock to trade. But you know, yeah, it's just too much volatility. I think. The numbers are okay. It's still it's improving. So two stocks that have um jumped quite a bit uh is consumer service education group, uh LRN and TAL. So they rank pretty high in the top. So here's the big big correction right here. And look at this volume selling. But the funny thing is the the gap up right here on earnings. Look at that volume. That this is the largest volume uh, right there. And so and then it falls through the next day. So so yeah. And then Friday, look at that. Like even the selling is starting to diminish uh, on the volume side. So looks really good. It closed in the near the top. Uh, unbelievable strength. Um, and so again, this stock is not going to be easy to hold. You can see every weekly bar is quite wide, uh, but the numbers still look okay. The other one is Tau. Um, look at this number right here: oh, two and nine cents, two cents and nine cents. So it's improving. Um, pull back right here. And then bounce on the on this week on the earnings. It's um not very strong, right? The bounce, but the volume on the sell side has uh really come down. And then this this day of selling right here, right before the earnings, um was also severe. So yeah, it's still kind of on the downtrend short term. So. We'll have to see if we can break through this level right here. That's probably where I would set an alert.
but this one, yeah, they both wear water count, so this is a very small, small cap, very small, 200 million, 13, 14 dollars. Um, Richardson Electronics, so in the electrical parts area, look at this growth on earnings, it's really growing again. So before you can see it here in the past, it's grown. Then we have this earnings downturn, and then now uh, it might start to change right here. So if we go back up like this. On the weekly chart, you can see this base right here. This base looks really nice because it gets tighter as it goes towards the right. And then it finally broke out right here. Largest volume again. You see that largest volume um, since this base basically. So go to the daily chart. And look at this right here. So this this was a shakeout. You can see on the daily chart. You see the shakeout right there. It, it went all the way down here at twelve dollars, and then it bounced back, and then and then uh, the next day it bounced even more. And then you can see all the volume on the red bars down here on the down days are much lower than the blue bars. So. Uh, yeah, so we're going to jump into the tech sector. Um, here is Telecom Service Wireless T-Mobile, Timus, and you can see the the earnings are quite strong. I don't know why it looks like a flat line here, but you can see it's growing here. Um, and so so you can see the base here, and then another base on base here, and then since that. It has really taken off. Uh, three week tight, and we have a slight pullback. It never touches the 50 day, and then now it's accelerating. So let's go to daily chart. So here's the tightness right here, and then it moves up, and then another base form. And here's an ugly pullback right here. But after that pullback, then it moves up, not too much, but then it pulls back again. So I mean this stock has pulled back quite a bit right at the beginning of the run. But now look at this, it's like going up nicely. And then we have another pullback right before the earnings come out. Um and then Friday is not a good day because it gave up quite a bit of the previous day. So question is, is it gonna come down to the 10 day or is it gonna try to bounce here? So, um, so we'll have to see. This is Western Digital in the data, computer data storage. Um, so we have this earnings a gap out right here, but it did close at the bottom of the range. But overall, I always look at this as still positive as long as it didn't, you know, uh, undercut previous day. And here, here's the trend line. Nice clean trend line here. Uh, Still comfortably above around 70 level, 69.45. Um, yeah, we'll see if this can move or not. Um, again, this look at the weekly chart here, and the earnings are improving. You can see this earnings line right here, the green line. It's, it's, this is a very strong slope. So, so yeah. Again, this is probably a chart that is. Um, on the weekly chart, you can see how turbulent this is. Next, we have now in the uptrend right now. Then we have also Tyler in the uptrend. Okay. So service now here, you can see. Um, the earnings here are still in the double digit, like in the teens area. It has slowed down quite a bit, but it's still growing. Um, this is a pretty deep base, 22%. And it, it took some time to get out. Uh, and then once it got out, it started moving. And then we have a slight pull back here and then bounce again. So yeah, it looks like it's uh, starting to maybe, maybe start to run uh, instead of just walking here. So, um, so yeah, we have two recent pullback right here, 
and now with this earnings news again pretty high volume not the highest volume but pretty close friday it pulls back it didn't undercut the previous day low um so it's looking okay so we'll see how it continues from here next one is tyler so this one make a giant move right here it tried to come out here but then fell well i don't know how, mu how much of a pullback this is but it did pull back again once more and then the earnings near took over gap out and then friday it did give back some of those gains not too much so it still looks pretty healthy um looking at the numbers yeah i think we're talking about this one so yeah it looks good so we did talk about Taiwan semiconductor in the chip area in the main market video recap. Here we have LAM Research. Um, they reported pretty good numbers and then forecast is still in the teens. This line here, this is the earnings lines sloping upward. So here we test the lows many times. This is the third time now we test the low. Um, it's still officially in a downtrend. You can see the slope here. Let's go to daily chart. We did see lots of volume coming on the on the on the earnings right here. So uh, and that like and then here you know it is trading really tight and really high volume. So there's some accumulation happening there because it just doesn't want to go down. Um, and you can see even my uh, slope line here it uh it came above it pretty much above the short term moon average but it did close down near the bottom to the bottom it's not a big deal because it's still higher than previous day um but yeah we'll have to watch this and see if can because the 10 the 21 days right here the 50 days right here uh 50 days sorry 50 days right here so 80 around 80 so we'll see if it surpasses this level and then even if it surpasses that there's another level here to test 86 around 86 so um yeah it might need more time this one again there's a lot of chips that got hurt recently uh this is one of them this shop down there um the one stock that a lot of people are talking about is a lab um it has come up really nice look at this um, it has obeyed the 10 day really nice as well look at the volume all this volume on the on the on the up days and it's still coming in look at those volume so this one hasn't reported yet nine days so but it's already running and this is ipo stock so it's coming back on the right side of this huge correction i mean i don't know it's pretty huge tonight 90 let's call that 90 and is around 35 36 it's a huge correction um but um uh, numbers are, are getting better so negative 0.01 to 17 cents and you can see the foreign fuel is also growing so yeah if i don't have the rule where i don't buy it before earnings uh, right now i'll probably get in but yeah it's looking really sharp look at where it closed each day each week closing at the top and even on this downward you close at the top so there's lots of accumulation happening in this stock and this is IPO uh, not too long ago so there might be uh, lots of room to run if it does so three stocks I want to highlight in the commodities area uh, risk in the oil and gas field uh, AA Alcoa in the mining DAR in the agriculture operations let's jump to those yes so you can see this base uh is trying to break out right now look at relative strength blue dot show up hitting new highs uh the numbers on earnings are also going pretty nicely right here so you can see the green line is sloping upward right now the earnings line um so yeah if we go to daily chart look at this uh, breakout right here nice clean breakout volume is highest ever again this is good when they, when they're breaking out it shows lots of people want to accumulate this stock um, next one we have is Alcoa 
So this is the mining area. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's not an easy stock to hold because it's quite volatile. You can see like, you know, even even this pullback right here, look, look how it just gapped down many times here. Um, so, but right now we, we have this earnings came out and uh, it kind of closed near the bottom. And then the next day it bounced back. So, so far it's been holding that low. You can see my black line, which is the stop area. Um, it's, it's starting to look weak again. So we'll see. The volume is, you know, really lo getting lower now. So that might be a good sign that some selling has been exhausted. We'll see. But this is uh, Alcoa. Um, again, numbers are really turning around. So so you can see the earnings line starting to curve up. If we go to uh, FCX, I also traded this, but this one I'm not as fortunate. I got I got uh, stop out. The numbers also improving. You can see it's pulling back right now. Um, and yeah, so this is more quite a significant pullback. I tried to uh, jump the gun a little bit here, and and uh, I got stop out. So. So here's the volume de is decreasing though, so that's good news. Here's the 50 day, so it might hit the 50 day and then bounce. I don't know, or it could bounce now, but it's probably more likely it'll, it'll probably want to hit the 50 day here. The last one here, Darling, it's not a very nice chart, right? It's been been on the long term boundary, and you can see the 200 day. So you can see clearly this is going to be a, a very important key signal. If it can surpass that, then the chances are higher that it can um, continue its run. But otherwise, it, it may be stuck in this in the long term. Uh, this is an agriculture operation. Let's look at the earnings here. So you can see the earnings might have been dropping, but look at this turnaround. It's going to start to turn around now. So so perhaps perhaps this could be uh, drive this stock higher from here. But we'll see. So in the health sector, the last sector we're going to talk about is uh, we have ZWIT YSI, a really small cap in the medical products group. Uh, Mo here in managed care, uh, ISRG medical system equipment, ENSG medical long term care. Next, so we're looking at ZYXI. This is medical products group, very small cap. You can see from the chart on the weekly, it's not an easy stock to trade. It's uh, quite volatile. Um, but here's the numbers are really turning around here in terms of projections. Earnings line is going down, but hopefully we're going to start going up. And it did move quite a bit on that. And uh, we also have, you know, uh, a very nice uh, bottom here where it just doesn't want to go lower. And then on the earnings news, um, it really shot up uh, right here. And you can see again, look at the red bar recently, all the red bars down here. The volume is really drying up. And uh, and then you can see it just moves really fast too. Like, um, so that's why it's near the top of my list. Um, and obviously the downtrend line, long term downtrend line has been broken. So this is probably, I missed this stock. So, um, so now it's a little bit extended. So, but, if, if it's a turnaround story, it'll probably have more room to run. This is Molina Healthcare Medical Managed Care. Um, earnings has been slowing, but now it's starting to pick up. You can see here, and then it continues on double digit. The next three quarters projection. Uh, it really, uh, I think it undercut, yes, it undercut right here, the previous low. And, and then it bounced after that. Look at the highest volume ever. So we go back to this chart right daily you can see this is a huge move on volume and then the next day it did it's up but it got challenged right here in both uh, the 50 day line it didn't even touch the 200 day line yet it could have more digestion here i don't like how both days it closed at the bottom but nonetheless they still didn't undercut each, the previous day so um yeah we'll see how this goes we, but we do have two moving averages that are you know 
uh, could be resistance level, 50 day and 200 day. If we pass this level right here, I think like around 350, uh, this could this could go much higher. So one of the things that you know I try not to do, especially in this current environment where, like I say, we we seeing lots of stocks uh, getting hammered on earnings. But even the ones that have broken out on earnings, um, unless they're in the base and and you were able to capture or buy it like early um, in the day before it shot up more, um, it's hard to chase stocks, right? Because in this environment they could pull back very fast. So anyhow, this is one stock that um, it's a long time, you know, runner, and it's 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 moving up nicely. And recently, it has this base right here, very tight base. Uh, it came out on the earnings news, right? And let me go look at the daily chart. So here's a very strong day, I think. Uh, so I didn't like get in the morning. So it's up ten percent that day. So. Um, yeah, if you got in earlier, you know, then you have less risk because, uh, you know, you're not buying at the top here. Um, but anyhow, it did pull back. So it started to pull back. And again, every stock tend to pull back to their 10 day. So the 10 day is moving up slightly, slow, slowly. And it hasn't touched it yet. So that's a good news. And the volume is drying up on the selling side. So, there might be an entry point soon if it, we see a bounce here. We probably I'll probably get in. Um, so let's wait for that. The last stock we can that um, reported is ENSG that I want to talk about medical long term care. So this one is also in long term care, same as Molina. Um, this stock has been running pretty nice until this recent correction here. And look at how tight this is trading. And volume also subsided on the selling side. It did have one day of selling before the earnings news right there. Um, not sure if it reported that day because I think it reported the next day. That's why we had this big gap up. But yeah, it's trying to break out again. So we'll see how if it follows through the next day. That will be a good signal. So yeah, we went through all the sectors, all the stocks that... Um, uh, showing growth in the future that on the earning side and that you know have some strength on the technical side so those could be potentially next movers um, and obviously as the next two weeks continue we're going to see more of those stocks but but right now as I mentioned uh, many stocks are still being dumped right now uh, so lots of risks for sure but I do want to go on this list quickly um, uh, just you know, WGS, BOT, SoFi. This is ranked from one and two above. Um, feel free to study them. Some of them, most of this hasn't reported yet. HRILB, Tzu. I believe that might have might have uh, reported. Upstart. So some of the financial consumer loans doing well. AGX, Credo. So you know, you can see lots of them hasn't reported. NCNO. I think it has reported doing well. App hasn't reported, but it's still showing lots of strength. Um, let me just quickly jump to that stock chart right here. So you can see I saw right here. So now it has gone up even more. Uh, it's just one of those things, you know. Um, there you go. It's still holding up near this level. The 10 days catching up. So yeah, this is definitely by far one of the strongest stock in this run. Um, so that's App Learning. The other one that will be on the list as well, might as well go to it right now, it's Palantir. Um, this one also came out again after this pullback. So now you can see right here, it's, it's, it's making new high again. So again, so I saw around the midway point right here, so it ran up even more. Um, so yeah, all these stocks are continue to show the leadership and it's not tired yet. Um, NUMS, ALK, Timinisu, Coin, TCBX, UCT, uh, we talk about Palantir, Upwork, ML, Futu, QFIN, DMA. Again, feel free to look into this on your own time. Most of this hasn't reported yet, so I'll YPF, Food, CCL, Zim, ASJD, ASJD, Powell, uh, USAP. Um, we have uh, then 
then you have CP being off of cash or something. We're going to talk about them BBW, HCI, NCLH, NVIDIA, uh, CFLT, same pass, MMYT, RJF. I believe that one has reported. FRHC, Prime, SMCI is still hanging around. VSCO, Mira, TPG, Team. Uh, so GEV did report. And uh, yeah, so let's take a quick look at that one. This this is also one of the stronger runners here. So so we report on earnings. You can see gap up again. Um, so this is still running again. I I took my profit right here. It has gone up even more. So <laughs> this this is crazy. <laughs> How much this has gone up. HPU GM also reported. Uh, more we talk about TSM in the market recap video VYGR ATAT AU uh, ROW RCLS NTSI Intel Skywest so IAS works FTA ISYF MS IOWA NU INDV HRO WDN Rambus RNG SUPN Azure TRGP GitLab CGK and so yeah thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe um, again next week will be a whole ton of earnings report let's see how the market react and we are getting closer to uh, both the election as well as also we'll have a job report on Friday so lots of movement it's going to be very interesting thank you